is almost uh, 41 years uh, that the country is still uh, uh, trying to uh, stabilize, um, but uh, all efforts in the past have failed. The latest one, uh, which uh, the United States, uh, in fact, uh, brought the dispensation in the country during the past 20 years uh, after the events of 9-11, I have also proven to be uh, a non-starter. Uh, if you look at it uh, during the past 20 years, uh, what we see is that uh, whether President Karzai or President uh, Ashraf Ghani, they have been uh, brought in uh, to the country, rather they were paratrooped. Both the gentlemen never had any role in uh, the resistance against the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. But uh, Americans, in their own scheme of things, uh, they decided about bringing the situation under control. They could uh, through military means. But when it comes to actually delivering peace in the country, they have failed. And one reason is that uh, those people whom uh, the Americans brought in, uh, those Afghans whom the Afghan Americans brought in to rule the country, in fact, they failed to deliver. They failed to deliver bringing uh, tribal uh, peace in the country or for that matter, socioeconomic justice. Pakistan uh, being a next door, next door neighbor and uh, is the most affected country as far as Afghanistan is concerned. There's a reason that there's a symbiotic relationship between Pakistan and Afghanistan. Uh, almost all, uh, I mean, major tribes, uh, they are divided on both sides of the border. Uh, they straddle uh, the border every day, almost 50 to 60,000 Afghans. They come to Pakistan and they visit Afghanistan. They have their businesses, they do the jobs. So, and then uh, you can see that 95% of uh, uh, secondary and tertiary medical treatment uh, they receive in Pakistani hospitals Almost 30,000 plus uh, Afghan students are studying in Pakistan. Then any uh, youth, uh, whether boy or girl, you see behind the computers in Afghanistan have invariably got their education in Pakistan during the past four decades. So Pakistan has played uh, a role. But at the same time, Pakistan has been criticized uh, by those who have been ruling the country. Uh, it is natural because uh, uh, something uh, uh, which Afghans understand better uh, about Pakistan is that all the Mujahideen groups are uh, the Taliban. They, in fact, have been in touch with Pakistan. And uh, they think that Pakistan is mentoring. So if the question is mentoring uh, those people, then uh, those Mujahideen who are right now sitting in Afghanistan, uh, whether they belong to some uh, Mujahideen party or not, they were also mentored by Pakistan. So uh, in this uh, game of uh, power play, uh, they want to blame Pakistan, but uh, in the hearts of their heart, they know what they're talking about because uh, uh, Pakistan cannot, uh, in fact, bring in uh, changes in Afghanistan. It is up to the Afghans to run their own country. Thank you.